Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we have the new Kaiser Escort using the clutch lock just like that was used in the drop bear. Now we'll compare the drop bear to the to the Escort here in one second, but this is the Kaiser Drop Bear. Awesome knife. Um, I fell in love with this knife. I will link it down in the description for you guys. It is such an awesome knife. I love the blade shape. I love the way it works. The ergos, it's super comfortable. The way they did the jimping, the action. And if you don't know about the, the clutch lock, it's basically a crossbar lock that's adjustable so that it has extra holes in it so you can adjust the strength of the crossbar lock. They do give you an extra set of Omega Springs that are thicker. I did find out they are 100% thicker. So your extra set is thicker and then the set that's inside the knife is a little bit thinner. So if you adjust it, you can adjust it with the holes and you can switch the Omega Springs to make it even stronger. Another thing with the clutch lock and the way they did this is that it's very easy to get to your Omega Springs. You can take this scale off, just this scale alone without taking apart anything else, lift the scale up and work on the knife. You can flip it around and then do the same thing on this side, which is awesome, which is also gonna give them the ability to possibly do different scales in the future and for you to replace them or swap them very easily. I don't know if they're gonna do that or not, but it has the possibilities of doing that. At the very least, you can easily maintain it and work on it very easily. And I love that the hardware is nice, big hardware. It feels nice and beefy, you know, I like that. I have an aluminum body here, just like the, um, the drop bear. Thumb stud action. You can see we have 20 CV steel, 20 CV steel, and it is a drop point blade with a nice big belly, nice big flat grind, and it has really good geometry. Just running your fingers right here, you can feel they, they thin this out really, really good. It's got um, not a super thick blade stock, so it's already a nice thin blade stock, and then it has a, um, a nice broad flat grind that's able to get down pretty thin behind the edge. With the edge that they have on it from the factory, it's about 12 and a half thousandths behind the edge. So after laying back the edge angle, what's it gonna be 15 thousandths, you know, and that's if you lay it back really low. Um, the crossbar lock, very, or the clutch lock, I should say, very easy to disengage. It sticks out nice and proudly. Forgive my fingers, guys. I still have some of the dye from the skull video. Um, on my fingers, man, this stuff's tough to get out. Next time I'm gonna have to wear gloves. But anyways, the crossbar lock, very easy to disengage. The thumb studs are easy to, to deploy. They stick up um, a little bit to give you, you know, just enough access to where it, it's, it's really good. Um, now the Ergos, man, this thing is so comfortable. Very similar, I mean, it's not just like the, the drop bear, they do feel pretty different in the hand, but very comfortable, very, very comfortable. Um, they didn't do the jimping all the way up the spine like on the drop bear, and this jimping, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't even think they need it. It's not that, I mean, it works okay, but it's not the best jimping. But you can do reverse grips, really, really good, nice and comfortable because it has a straight back. So all the leverage will be distributed across your fingers really nicely when you're pulling back. Um, pinch grips are gonna be good. Utility cuts aren't gonna be the best because you do have a pretty big belly here, but you can do them. It, you're gonna be able to get by just fine with it. Big lanyard hole. I'm surprised they did such a big lanyard hole. Um, not a big deal, but you know, it just kind of takes away from the look, I think, a little bit. I think it looked better without that, but that's my opinion. Um, some people like them, so and you know, it doesn't bother me that bad as long as they didn't have to mess up the clip for a lanyard hole. I'm happy. Um, now it does have a reversible deep carry clip, not inset, but it does have flat screws and it does come with extra hardware, like I said, with the the Omega Springs, the extra Omega Springs. Now that fuller, you really can't use. So the fuller is only there for visual. Okay, so a couple complaints. If I was gonna make some complaints, let's talk about some complaints. Well, first of all, I haven't tested it yet. So this is based off of first impressions. Eventually, 
I'll test it, you know, I'll sharpen it up and everything, you know, we can test the steel and the heat treat, but we haven't done any of that yet. But I want to say, I kind of wish that they would have chamfered this edge a little bit. You notice how they chamfered the edge right here, where it made it to where it's easy to get down to the thumb studs. Now, don't get me wrong, the thumb studs are still, I mean, you see me rapidly deploying it just fine. You know, I'm not missing it, It's. it's I'm not skipping off of it, but... I can't help but think, man, it'd be nice if there was a little bit of a chamfer there. It would just, you know, make it even better. Um, but not a big deal at all. Like I said, you know, it's it's great. All in all, I like the knife quite a bit. Um, I even like the stone washing on the clip. The, uh, the one other little thing I would say that I would love to see is I, I wish the thumb studs were the black ones like on this. I think that would have been a nice color combination um, with the black thumb studs. Now, obviously... They do have reversible thumb studs, and you could put your own thumb studs on there if you really wanted to without a big deal. Um, surprise, this is a Dirk Pinkerton design. Um, I have a bunch of Dirk Pinkerton designs, and this doesn't really seem like... I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe it is. He's got a lot of designs out there, I guess, so I can't say that. Uh, most of the designs I have from him are all Warncliffe blades, but you know, I know he does have other stuff out there like Persians and stuff. I actually have a, I had a Persian by him, too. Um, anyways, just in case if you don't know the size of the drop bear, here is the Hogue Deca, which is a, a little tiny, tiny bit longer than the drop bear, but you can see that the Escort is a bit longer than the drop bear, or sorry, than the Deca. So it's, you know, about the same size, you know, you, you, it's very similar, but a little bit beefier, a little bit bigger. It, it definitely, especially compared to the factory one, feels way stronger, way tougher, but size wise, you know, it's about the same size, just a little bit beefier, a little bit bigger. A couple other things I really like. I really like how they black washed the liners and they're nice thick liners. So you have the aluminum scales. They don't, they didn't have to do the the um the liners but they did just like on the drop bear um because this is an aluminum body but i guess they did maybe for the casing around with the omega springs but my point is though is it's blacked out looks really good feels really solid you know there's no flex or anything like that it has that nice metallic feel now this could be a negative for some people but these are aluminum scales they have that powdery feel a little bit so that does mean they are going to patina they're going to show wear you will see scratches but that's the beauty of them kind of like you see right here you see how this one is how you see the scratches it's just snail trails they're not actual like gouges scratches but you know you're gonna see some scratches in it which it's okay that, that's the way they are so it's gonna show age and it's gonna show the love that you put on it and the use that you put on it in, in a good way but the blade is going to hide a lot of that because it is a stone wash blade so you know it's gonna look good with the age with the the scales but the blades you know it's gonna stay nice and uh good looking you know over time or at least it should. And then, you know, they have the stop pin. You can see the stop pin. Regular size stop pin. Not not beefy. Not too small. Um, you know, it's okay. I um, wish it was a little bit bigger, but it's not that big of a deal. But you can see they use the crossbar for the closing position stop pin. Now, that's okay because it, it is underneath here. Like in the thickest point down there. That's where it tucks in at. So if you did sharpen this all the way and you did need to add a new choil in, in the future, you could. You could just notch it out right there and just don't bother that area and it'll be just fine. But... All in all, that's really the only complaint if I was really going to make one because they did a great sharpening choil and plunge grind. Um, the great ergos, great action. So there's really not too much to complain about here. I mean, maybe through the full review, we will find out. But all in all, man, I am absolutely loving it. You can see it's quite a bit bigger than the drop bear, though. So this is more of a full-size knife, but so is the drop bear. You can get a very comfortable full hand grip on the drop bear this one just gives you a little bit more room a little bit more robustness of a feel while still staying nice and slicey but there you guys go just a quick look at the new escort i love you guys peace